Okay, so ladies, have you ever met one of these guys on a dating app and he starts messaging you right away, good morning, beautiful, and then at night, good night, beautiful, and maybe you've met him once or twice, maybe you've never met him, and this is a red flag. This is a red flag, same as the guy that I met in October who said, I really like you, Sharzat, a lot, didn't even know me. Okay. The guys that start texting good morning and good night are red fucking flag. And I had a guy like this a while back myself, but I'm thinking about a conversation I just had with one of my friends driving home. I had an almost one hour drive home this evening. I was talking to this friend of mine who's on a dating app. She's in her 50s and um, dating quite a few men she's meeting online and she's really smart she does a video call with them a lot of these guys are just thrown off by that because they're not used to doing video calls they don't some of them don't even have like a current photo of themselves and the video calls are really good because she says she can see you know how they carry themselves how much eye contact they make you know how clean is their home and all of that but we, um, this video, so I thought that was really smart, but, um, cause I, the last time I was on a dating app, I did the phone calls. I didn't do the video calls because I had the idea of, I don't even want to invest anything in you. Let's just meet. But I think the video calls are a great idea. Nonetheless, <laughs> she was telling me about this gentleman who was texting her all that and she said will you just stop texting me i'm getting ready for work this is really annoying and he got he went off on her that she'll never meet anyone and this and that which is another red flag that if someone tells you your behavior is annoying and you lash out at them um it shows an inability to handle your feelings nonetheless what is that about it when it happened to me with this particular gentleman who did it with me, um, I, I had met him one time and then he started with those texts, I think. And, but he, but this particular man who sent me those texts, did I see him once or twice? He was a Marine in his, I want to say thirties. Um, I think in general, he, uh, he might have been texting that to a lot of women. I don't know. I only saw him twice. Um, guy hooked up with twice. The good morning and good night is a way of um, trying to hook a woman in. And it's inappropriate. To, it's really inappropriate to text someone good morning or good night or call someone beautiful that you've never met or that you don't really know. It's forced intimacy. It's bypassing the natural progression of getting to know someone. And they do it because it's very low investment on the guy's part to just throw out all the women he's got on his phone, you know, whether it's just you at the time or 10 of them at the time, just every morning when he gets up, good morning, beautiful. Have you had your coffee yet? You know, did you sleep well? Whatever it is. And every night before he goes to bed, good night, beautiful. Just throws it out, hoping for a reply, hoping for a conversation. Um, it could be just a texture boy. I mean, I don't really know. But that's not something you text to someone that you don't really know that you barely met. This person has a lot of red flags. Men who've got stuff going on don't do that. Believe me. When you meet a guy who does that right off the bat, run for the hills, block him immediately. Also, as you saw in this particular guy, when my friend told him, hey, I, you know, this is just annoying. I haven't even met you. I'm trying to get ready for work here. He just retaliated. So these guys are not stable. Also, a man saying, calling you beautiful and stuff by your name is very inappropriate. It's impersonal. And it's, um, again, I think pet names are reserved for people that we actually know. Another red flag I would say is guys sliding into your DMs. I made a video the other day, ladies, about guys sliding into your DMs. And some people didn't know what that is. DMs is direct messaging. 
and it's a form of messaging available on your social media, on your Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and I don't know if TikTok or Snapchat have those. I don't know. It's a guy that you don't know coming into your messaging, commenting on how beautiful you are meaningless trash it's meaningless trash it's totally meaningless to me it's annoying it's disgusting it's like low value beta men needy men hoping to i don't know what they're trying to do i wouldn't take any of that seriously either but for the purposes of this video i just had to make this almost 11 o'clock at night and i am in my pajamas which i'm going to make a video of this for my just for fans people they get to see more of me than i show other people because they're paying 35 dollars a month so they get more access to more of me um, not just my nudity but also just my um but i don't want to post my just for fans on here because it's got uh, a different name that i don't really want people to find me under so I'm not looking for subscribers on YouTube, but if you really want to know my Just For Fans, just send me an email. I'll tell you what it is. But um, yeah, just beware of those guys that treat you as a romantic partner too quick. And ladies, I want to say we have to be careful too to not treat a man as a romantic partner too quickly before we know him and he's earned the right. And I'm very guilty of that. Especially after my divorce, I was so used to being in a marriage for so long that I was treating everybody like um, I would have treated my husband because I was in wife mode. You know, I trusted people. I thought people were honest. I thought they kept their word. I thought they meant what they said. I thought they had my best interests at heart. But a lot of people don't. So it's really important to not project a reality onto people um, and to not project a fantasy onto people and to just to kind of step back for a little bit and just get to know people and not move things along so fucking fast. Uh, you know, because I was, I didn't know any of these people. I'd never met them. And that's why a guy texting you good morning and good night in the way that, um, a, a boyfriend in a relationship would do is really inappropriate because he is a vulnerable woman is going to fall for that and at one point I fell for that because I didn't know the games I don't think I was so vulnerable I think I was very trusting and I didn't know the games and I thought oh this guy really likes me he's texting me he's thinking of me the last thing before he goes to bed and he's thinking of me the first thing when he wakes up in the morning and isn't he so hot too? Wow. But you know, he never had time to see me ever, ever during the week or on weekends. He would just disappear from his phone um, because he had kids. I don't even know if the guy was maybe married. I Sometimes I wonder if some of these guys were married or if they were just unavailable or if they were just really tired from working. I have no freaking clue, but I can tell you red flags ladies and i have a checklist right now of red flags that i'm working on i think i'm going to add that one to it the good morning good night message red flags um ladies leave your red flag stuff in the comments below that um to help other ladies out and just to get like a fun discussion going of what you see are red flags um from men on dating apps um, and again, I don't want to disparage these men and say that they're harming us, but I think if we don't know the tactics or um, their capability, I think someone really trusting and vulnerable could fall for one of these guys um, just based on the word. Like I said, oh, he must really like me and I think he's so hot and he's texting me good morning. Okay. I'll tell you what happened with my guy who texted me good morning and good night. He was a Marine. He wasn't an officer, but he'd been in the Marine Corps for quite a while. And um, I remember that one time we had sex together. <laughs> it was so funny. I'm like, where's his head? Where'd his head go? 
because I'm used to being like in a frontal position. I'm used to being in very intimate positions with guys that even the guys that I'm hooking up with, a lot of eye contact, a lot of intimacy. And at one point I'm like, where's this guy's head? I don't, you know, we're fucking, but where's his head? I start looking around. <laughs> this is so funny. I swear you guys, I'm not drunk. Um, and he was at a 90 degree angle from me and his face was down on the mattress. And um, I don't remember what I said. I think I made some funny joke about where's your head. And I started talking about intimacy or feelings or something at some point with him during this time. And he said, oh, no, feelings, no, 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 no. And I'm not going to go into the details of his personal life. He did have some um, issues there that made it obvious that he was uncomfortable with intimacy and with feelings. And so after that, I never did see him again. I think that he really wanted connection and he was a kind person. He never treated me badly, but he definitely had intimacy avoidance issues, which I didn't know because I didn't vet him properly. That's what I mean. You have to vet people. You can't just go by... You know, and for weeks he'd been texting me good night and good morning. And I thought he's very attentive to me. He's very present. He's very into me. You know, he thinks about me all the time. But when it actually came to the face to face, you know, I couldn't even see his face when we were fucking because he couldn't handle the intimacy of just even looking at me. And his previous wife had a lot of issues. I, I don't think that I should go into all that. Well, let me just go into it because no one knows who he is. He's just a nobody in the Marine Corps, really. He, she was a severe alcoholic, and he was married to an alcoholic. She was an alcoholic the whole marriage. Very, very severe alcoholic. I looked her up on Facebook. She was a wreck. And he picked someone like that, and he had a lot of other stuff. Um, I think he was just trying to get his life in order. And there are a lot of people doing their best, working hard, very reliable at their jobs, doing the best they can. But again, this guy was a wreck emotionally and his good morning and good night texts were not an indication of his capability, his capacity or his actual ability to show up. And so that's why I say those are really red flags, you know, telling like the guy I met in October, telling me after one date, I like you, really like you, Sharzad, a lot. And I'm like, oh my God, I like him too. And he likes me all, kumbaya. You know, what did he do? He turned into a texture boy. And for the second date, for those of you who didn't catch the video, he blew, he blew off the second date, um, texted me three hours later, said he overslept, never rescheduled, not did, and didn't do anything, just apologized for oversleeping. So that was the end of him. You know, that was the end of him. But again, what they say, look at people's actions, not their words. It is so easy for a guy to sit around on his phone, text all these women, hey, beautiful, hey, beautiful. Um, just throw stuff out and see who gets back to him. Um, text good morning and good night. There is no investment of time, resources, or energy. No investment. Uh, look for actions, not words. I think my friend who does the video calls has a really good plan. You know, if you're dating someone online, get on a video call. If the guy doesn't get on a video call, that is a red fucking flag. If you have an iPhone, FaceTime with him. I don't have an iPhone. You can use WhatsApp. That's free. Now, if you're on mobile data because you aren't in the boondocks and you don't have good Wi-Fi, your reception is going to suck on the WhatsApp. Um, I don't know if Skype or Zoom are any better. I live in the city. I have like a fucking high speed. I have high speed Internet cable uh, in my home. They came through and did it in our whole complex. They actually installed the high speed cable last year. They were here for several hours installing it in the attic and everywhere. Like I have high speed broadband fiber optic cable. So my upload speeds are fast. But, you know, if you live more in a rural area, you might not have that. But I would suggest trying it anyway. And, uh, and getting to know someone and not using your fantasy and your imagination of how great this person can be. If you want fantasy and imagination, you know, just watch a movie because they are full of fantasies already. Just keep your feet down on the earth and um, 
because I have another friend, um, and I know she watches my videos, you know, sharing with me some stories she knows about these things too. Oh, and I have um, watched videos on shows like Oprah and Dr. Phil of women who have given away like hundreds of thousands of dollars or a million dollars to men they met online that they never even met in fucking real life. Just because the guy charmed her with his words and it's some ugly dude in Nigeria and what they do is they catfish you. They have a photo of somebody, some hot guy, um, usually some kind of uh, military officer and then they start talking to you and drawing you in and this one, uh, I think was it Dr. Phil or Oprah had one had this gentleman on his photo was used 4,000 times in 4,000 different profiles by different scammers and the one woman I mean bless her heart for being courageous enough to come on the show her all her savings all her retirement money and her family's money she had borrowed money from her parents to send to this guy and one of these guys actually ended up falling for her and <laughs> coming out and outing himself. And she had pictured this Caucasian, you know, army officer, all fit and buff. And this guy finally comes out to her and this like chubby, ugly Nigerian guy. I'm sorry. I just thought he was ugly. Um, you know, I'm really sorry. I have feelings for you. Can we get together? She was just turned off and she was angry, she, you know. Um... So there, I don't believe in doing a lot of um, texting. I think that it's good to just get on a video call. And those scammers, by the way, those scammers that scam money out of you will never get on a video call because they're using a false photo. Um, from my experience with men, uh, online dating with men and from what my Female friends have told me guys do not cheat on their photos. I've met hundreds of guys in person, over 100 guys in person that I met online, and only one used a fake photo. They're, they look like they do in real life or better. But I've heard often that women use um, older photos. So get on, a, get on a video call and talk to the person. Um, unless they're in jail or they don't look like <laughs> they used a false photo. Um, there should be no reason to not get on a video call with you. And don't, um, just be careful those guys who text you good morning and good night too fast. It feels super good. It feels super intimate. But I think we have to, like that beginning part of dating is always super hard where you're like, um, you know, you can't be yourself completely or show yourself completely or show your needy side at all. Because um, you have to just be able to take things a little bit slow and not get carried away in the beginning. I think that's what I want to say. Um, anyway, it is Tuesday and Christmas Eve is on Thursday. So I have to go to bed. I have my boot camp tomorrow. Um, so I have to go to bed. I was up super late because I was out. But um, just want to make this video because I couldn't help myself with the guy who did the good morning and good night. I told my friend that is a fucking red flag and she's too smart. She's not, she doesn't put up with any BS. So <laughs> she saw right through that. Like, why are you texting me that? I've never even met you, you know, but anyway, um, leave your comments below. Okay. Thank you.